the late breaking details as former L.A. Laker and Khloe Kardashian's ex-husband Lamar Odom is rushed to the hospital. Tonight, Lamar Odom is reportedly fighting for his life, according to the Nye County Sheriff's Department. The former NBA star was found unconscious and unresponsive earlier this afternoon at this legalized brothel in Nevada, the Love Ranch. Odom was taken to a local hospital where he was stabilized before being transported by ambulance to Sunrise Hospital in Las Vegas. Authorities originally planned to airlift him, but the county sheriff's office said that at six foot ten, Odom was too tall to be transported by helicopter. Off the court, Odom is known for his many appearances on Keeping Up with the Kardashians. After a whirlwind romance with Khloe Kardashian, and each day of my life, I will be faithful to you. I will be faithful to you. The pair wed in 2009, and even had their own spin-off show, Khloe and Lamar. But their reality series showed a dark side of their relationship as well. It just sucks when you've given so much and you realize it still wasn't good enough for someone. Odom was arrested for DUI in the summer of 2013. Tabloids ran rampant with rumors of drug use and a failing marriage. Hi, we love you. Then, at the end of 2013, Hi. Chloe filed for divorce. His basketball career started to disintegrate. After a lackluster 2014 season with the New York Knicks, Lamar was waived from the team. Tonight, former teammates sending their support. New Orleans Pelican Eric Gordon tweeting, prayers up for Lamar Odom, hoping he keeps fighting and makes it through. And Dwayne Wade writing, prayers all the way up for my brother Lamar Odom. In a sneak peek for an upcoming episode of Keeping Up with the Kardashians, Chloe reveals she still keeps tabs on him. Why do you need Lamar's number? So I could check on him. I haven't had my Blackberry all week since I've been here because it's broken and I wanted to make sure he's okay. Can't I do that? And tonight, so many people are hoping to hear he's okay. Of course, we'll have more details on Good Morning America tomorrow.